I caught up with Ryan Reynolds, uh, he makes a return to our screens this week in The Adam Project. Now, this is a great film. It's a movie about a time-travelling pilot. He's teamed up with his 12-year-old self, I know, in order to save the future. And I did this in my little house by Zoom with the man himself. I loved it because I love films like that anyway, but it was like time travel with, with such a difference. Yeah, time travel with a little little heart thrown in as well. Yeah, it's a bit of an emotional uh, punch in the gut and, and uh, you know, sort of harkens back to the days of the kinds of movies that I loved as a kid, you know? Those movies that, that, that took you away in this like supernatural context or some high concept, cool wish fulfillment action adventure movie, but also, you know, left a lot of room for something personal and intimate as well. No, very much so. I love how you, you referenced, you know, movies like, you, I guess you're talking about like E.T. and Back to the Future, and that even gets a, a mention in there. It has got a lot of heart. You're absolutely right. But it's got, it's funny, it's snarky, it's clever, it's silly. Yeah. And I like that too. There's yeah. really good humour in there as well. What about your little co-star, little Walker? I mean, he is a wee bit of a scene stealer, don't yes. you think? It's a cheeky little b I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, he really is. There's no stopping that kid. He's he's amazing. I mean, we, we read hundreds and hundreds of kids for that role, and I think the second sentence out of Walker's mouth, we knew that he was the guy. Yeah. Um, not only is he an amazing yeah. actor, which is what we were looking for, but he's also an incredible mimic. You know, he could he could mimic my cadence and sort of delivery in ways that was 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 kind of baffling. Well, it's been funny and as well as been entertaining and all of that. And um, it's about it's about loss, isn't it? The movie's about love and it's about loss and it's about that father and son and you know son and mother, all of those really important relationships too. When we sh when my older self shows up in the year 2022, I, I sort of end up there by accident, and of course I run into my 12 year old self who looks at at his father as a superhero. And I see this yeah. same man as a super villain. So we sort of, mm -hmm. you know, the, we begin this journey toward the, some kind of understanding of each other's perspectives. So many of the things in the movie echo my own real life. Certainly not the time travel part, Lorraine, but the rest. Uh, mm -hmm. I really do echo my, my life. I had an incredibly complicated relationship with my dad who passed away uh, back in 2015. And I had a lot of stories I told myself about him and stories that sort of corroborated mm -hmm. my own shortcomings and different things and really kind of, you know, uh, made excuses for things in my life that I didn't really want to confront. And, uh, and, you know, the movie really tackles that head on. And sometimes those stories aren't necessarily true. And I did that, I had that moment in my adult life where I said, is that that story I'm telling myself about my father, is that really true? And it, it turns out it's not necessarily true. Somewhere between superhero and supervillain, you know, are our parents, you know, right in the middle there. They are human beings and they are people who are doing the best they can with what they have. And that certainly is, uh, that's no exception in my family, so. I need to ask you though, as an enormous fan of Deadpool, and I know that Walker can actually quote all of the dialogue, your co-star, <laughs> um, yes. When are we going to worse, see, yeah. when, when, I know, I know you've been really busy and you've been doing loads of things. Deadpool 3. Yeah. When, 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 is it going to happen? Uh, oh, it's going to happen. I just, you know, I'll have a batch right. of uh, updates on that soon, I'm hoping. So we'll see. Good. I hope so. I hope so. And can I say as well, obviously we've kind of adopted you over here, particularly your footballing interests. How is that all going? I mean, it's just such a brilliant thing to do. You brought you brought glamour and excitement to, to football. Wrexham, uh, well, well, Wrexham had yes, its own Wrexham. Had, Wrexham had its own unique brand of uh, glamour and excitement before I got there. True. But uh, both Rob McElhenney and I, we love it. It is such a passion project, and uh, you know. I, it's I, football in general has really been both the best and the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I, I get it now. I understand the beautiful <laughs> game as much as I can understand it at this stage in life, and it is a it's a unique brand of uh, gorgeous torture. Uh, yeah, that I've I've never experienced before. I love it with all of my heart, and it also breaks my heart on a pretty regular basis. So. Look, I'm really glad. It is wonderful, and it's it's given the team and, and everywhere around it such such a boost. And also, can I say to you, um, and it's something that you don't need to do, but you you do it a lot. In particular, your support that you've shown for the people of Ukraine is quite remarkable. I mean, the fact that you're going to donate all of that money is amazing, and it really does help because it encourages other people to do the same. And that's fantastic. Yeah, it, it really is. I, I'm really uh, amazed at how much people have stepped up. That our contribution was matched almost uh, within 24 hours, and it's really 
really, really happy for wow. them and, and uh, everything they're doing, so, yeah. No, but it's great, because you don't need to do that, and you do, and it, it really, like I said, it really helps so, well, so I'm much. Also very, we, my, both my wife and I recognise how lucky we are to be able to do that, so. Oh, it's brilliant. Listen, it's a joy to talk to you, and um, thank you for the movie. Uh, it really is, it's very special. It's thank very, you. very thank special. You, Lorraine. And I hope to talk to you really, really soon. Thank you so much, Ryan. I look forward to our thank next you. visit. Thanks so much. Talk soon. Cheers. Bye. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.